This is gospel music today. We are at the National Quartet Convention, and I am here with the group Unity, and sitting next to me is Samantha. Welcome to gospel music today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I'm going to ask you to introduce the rest of the group. All right. Um, right back here, we have our lead singer, Mr. Frederick Chavis, and we have our bass singer, Mr. Elmore Anderson, and behind me back here, we have our baritone, Mr. Emmanuel Wallace, and I'm Samantha Locklear, and I sing alto for the group, and we make up Unity. Now, Unity began as a male quartet, is that right? That's right. They began actually about, um, I guess, six years ago as a male quartet, and um, kind of, I guess, maybe not what the guys had in plan, you know, in for what they actually planned, but um, I guess ultimately what God planned was a mixed quartet, ultimately, what came along. Fred and I are cousins, and um, they lost their tenor about three years ago. They asked, could I fill in? Well, almost four years. I'm still filling in. <laughs> actually not filling in. I've become full-time, so it's turned into actually a mixed group, not a male quartet, as you can see, any longer. Oh, well, there's some really good mixed groups uh, floating around, so that's uh, that's great. I'm going to ask you about the new CD and everything in a minute, but I want to see what these uh, people are up to. Come over here just a little closer. Okay. Okay, there we go. What, uh, what led you into uh, Southern Gospel singing? Um, I guess just turning on the TV um, and, and catching a, a gospel music concert on TV. Um, but really, I think what got my attention with Southern Gospel Music was, was the radio. I turned on the radio and, and caught the cathedrals uh, one afternoon, and uh, it, it was awesome. It was awesome. Same question for you. Did, did you grow up with this style of music, or you picked it up? I guess so, because uh, I'm quite older than uh, the rip <clears throat> other group members, so years ago when I got up on Sunday morning cut the TV on there was that gospel music the Florida Boys, the Happy Good ones, so it sort of started sticking back way back then and I've just always loved Southern Gospel. It's a great tradition. How did you become involved? Oh wow, um, well, kind of like these guys, you know, I started listening to uh, Southern Gospel uh, for me back in 1986 and um, man, when I fell in love with it, it, I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks, and I love Southern Gospel. And, uh, but we, we, like I said, we've been singing about six years or so. Lewis has been blessed, and I'm just so honored to be here, and, and, and it's being able to spread God's word through song, enjoying it, too. Amen. Yeah. Now, you guys did the, uh, the independent recording for a while. You're on Grapevine, Grapevine label now. Tell me about the new CD. The new CD is in self-entitled Unity. Um, we were formerly Unity Quartet, but now we're just Unity. Um, wow, well, uh, it's a different mix for us. We got pitched several different songs. Um, David Staten is um, pitched several different songs to us. It was really hard to come up with just ten. We had so many favorites of our own, and um, he had such great ideas that we couldn't even wrap our minds around and, and they worked so hard with us and we took some um, actually some 70s songs that were um, help me out well yeah, um, yeah help me out yeah, I'm sorry yeah well help um, me out um, our I first, lost my artist yeah, our first release uh, Living the Light of God was an old Teddy Huffam song Teddy Huffman. actually yeah, yeah. yeah Huffman. another song off of that project also an old Teddy Huffam song called I Already Like It and uh, man people are loving that bringing back that old stuff like that We've been listening to the CD uh, for uh, three or four weeks, I guess, at home, and that, that, is, that is really, really a nice, nice CD. We really enjoy it. What, um, what's the uh, Unity website? Our website right now is currently under construction. We have a MySpace that will be www.myspace.com slash Unity Quartet. You can visit us at that. And where are you guys based out of? Well, we are actually, um, our hub is Pembroke, North Carolina. We're kind of centrally located in that hub right there. We're all kind of closely located, but that's our home base, Pembroke, North Carolina. 
That's probably about, um, I guess, 30 miles east of Fanville, North Carolina. That's near um, Fort Bragg. It's a big um, military base. A lot of people are familiar with that. Now, I guess uh, we could, we'll, we'll describe the sound as Southern Gospel, but it's a, a, an updated Southern Gospel sound? Updated, yeah. Um, it's got a little twist, yeah. Definitely updated. It's got a little twist. Um, I don't even know exactly how to describe our sound. I don't even know if anybody exactly knows how to wrap their mind or put a phrase. It's unique. That's a definite catchphrase. That's what a lot of people just say, unique. I, I'll leave it at that. Unique. Well, we, uh, to yeah, we, uh, we listen to the CD, and it's, it's, there's a variety there. But uh, I think one of the main thing about Southern Gospel is that the the message is right up front, and that's and that's what you guys are doing. The message is in the song. The delivery is just probably a lot different in various different types of songs, you know. But definitely, the message is still there. It still rings through, still the same. Still, over two thousand years ago, the message is still exactly the same. Jesus Christ, is still the same. Absolutely. Well, to all the members of Unity, thank you very much for talking to us on gospel music today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for, for having, having us. Thank you very much. There's more coming up on Gospel Music Today.